Welcome back. Time for us to pass over to Jupiter. I um, actually got this done before we even need to rank up. I actually have enough affinity, but I've got to wait 10 hours. So that's going to be tomorrow. So, before we go through the Jupiter Junction, then make sure you've done extra. I've already farmed up Frost. In addition, this one is also an interesting node. It's very easy, low level, and the puzzles aren't very difficult. I'll throw them up on the screen before I upload the video. But this will drop Rhyme Rounds, Scattering Inferno, and the Ivory Chassis Blueprint. I'll probably be back here anyway to do a How to Get Ivora video. Uh, but whilst you're coming through here anyway, you might as well have it. And if you can get those three things, now bear in mind, they are all on the Rotation C, which means you need to get all three of the puzzles solved. And they are slightly rarer than the Relics. So each of those mods has a 5.6% chance to drop, with the Relics all having 11%. So you'll probably get a lot of Relics doing this. But the two mods are quite important, so it's a good idea to grab them. You'll want them eventually anyway. And I looked on the Warframe Marketplace. I'm not going to throw it up just yet. But Rhyme Rounds is currently selling for 20 Platinum at the moment. I'm going to give that a go and put some mods up on the Warframe Marketplace. If they sell and do well, I will post a video about it so you guys can see. But it's 20 Platinum each. If we can get a few of those, each one of those is basically worth a Warframe slot, which is really, really useful. In any case, with all of that spoken about then, you can see on here, obviously, the objectives are 10 minutes on Draco, real easy. Uh, extra, complete the Arquim mission, which we did ages ago. So we're going to go on in and do this. Okay, so for this one, we should be facing Valkyr. This one can be kind of dangerous because Valkyr is a melee frame and has, I think, an invincibility power. So we do need to be careful about when it procs that or sets that off. Heck, and I've got the Ether Daggers on, which should be fine. Can't see probably right now. It's already just like laughing at me with its ability to parry bullets. And, uh, the Heck's putting it down pretty badly. <laughs> oh, come on, Valkyrie. Like, don't stay over there. You're in melee frame. Come on. Yeah, it's not going to work. So, the uh, the heck is doing pretty good right now. I should probably speak about where I'm at in the syndicate just so you guys can see something. So, basically, because I've been keeping up with my um, syndicates each day, I am almost actually on rank 5. I've actually got to... Uh, to get near those prime rocks, which is one of the rare parts that's real bad. But because we're on rank Anything 4, need, I'm actually able to get this uh, Shattered Justice here, which is 200% multi-shot for 7 for, for seven drain on the weapon, which is obscene. Now, I'm able to do this because I haven't used any of the free reactors that we got given during the course of the series. So just bear in mind that if you want to upgrade the heck, that's where I'm going to be getting, well, that's where I have gotten a absolute ton of damage from on the heck, and it is doing ungodly um, amounts of damage it's kind of looking real good we've got two two form on there i'm not going to go above that because we are very close to getting the next version of it the vacor heck so uh, i'm just i'm just holding out for that i've got to hope that i can reach mass rank 14 before we get access to it otherwise it's going to be kind of sad but we now have jupiter unlocked this is good news because we can now get hold of neuroptics which i'm also missing from quite a few of my warframes i've got two building right now so currently warframe wise just keep you guys updated then I already have a Hydroid and Rhino building. These didn't need any Neuroptics, but the rest of them do seem to need them on the... on the uh, uh, Not Neuroptics. The rest of them do need, seem to need Neural Sensors on the Neuroptics part of the Warframe. So, very soon we'll be able to build even more Warframes. I haven't used anything from the... Um, I haven't used anything from the Clan yet. So I haven't gotten any new stuff. The only real thing that I bought was the Helios, but I can't build that because we don't have Fieldron yet. I'll talk about that when they start becoming more prominent. I'll just get that built. That's some extra affinity right there. Need that. Uh, I've got so many eggs, we've got access to, uh, to Argon now. There's always going to be one of these in the oven. I'm going to build my way through all of those. Excuse me, cat. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's about to stop, stop us recording. So, the, uh, the beat of progress continues. As we can see, Jupiter really isn't that much higher. That's 15 to 17. Ceres was ending on the same level so this should pretty much feel the same for now a good place to start grinding is io this has a pretty good defense mission gives a decent amount of relics you'll also get oxium there so uh, this is a pretty good node to be working your way to this is going to be a little bit later the ripple list this is a bit higher level so we're probably going to leave that as we pass on through um, but our next mission then is to get ourselves ready to go through there which we've already done so we need to complete Teshub on the Void. Complete Stickney on Phobos to gain access. We did that. And activate the quests. 
Use the codex in your orbiter. Stolen dreams. Okay, so we're heading straight through that as well. That's kind of mental because we've been on top of the quests. And we'll actually be getting Nova. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's this one. Might be this one. Might be Baal, actually. Anyways, we'll be making our way over there um, to, uh, to Europa. And the cool thing is, we should see on the junction now, we're going to start getting access to many more quests soon. We've got the Limbo Theorem and the... A uh, new strange quest in there, and we should get access to some new story missions as well. So, really starting to get some good stuff happening over on Jupiter. So let's uh, let's get to that. And let's clear those notes.